Inside Science. The COVID-19 pandemic was the first time many of us heard about coronaviruses. But the strain of coronavirus that causes COVID-19 is just one of many in this family. Some can be deadly, like SARS or MERS, but others cause simple variations of the common cold. Until recently, their existence was generally ignored. Coronaviruses, because they weren't a major problem in medicine, received relatively little attention up to the time of the first SARS outbreak in 2002, 2003. That outbreak sparked an enormous amount of research into coronaviruses at first. Then that burnt out. And so people backed off it again, but there's still, there's an enormous amount of research to be done on these things. Coronaviruses have been around for decades. So what about them has sparked this massive uptick in coronavirus research? Well, what's changed is I think an enormous ramp up in tourism and international travel from countries which are becoming increasingly prosperous and still have cultures of, say, live animal and live bird markets. So I think we need to think of COVID-19 as a trial run for something that could be much worse. The COVID-19 pandemic has given scientists a lot of information to work with while prepping for the next potential coronavirus threat. We've got enormous data sets now that we know are attributable to COVID or to the actions we took the economic actions, the social actions, and we can analyze all those and see how well they worked. So there are great data sets for conditioning the way we respond in such situations. And we're gonna need these responses. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.